Welcome back to Endless Legend Tempest with a very, very happy Manta Ray creature called Vor 3. The only name he's got is a frigate. Don't friggin' forget about it. Okay, so I've had some problems in the past, and I intend to work those problems out. Issue is that I have two very lousy neighbors. I hope they fight each other. But I need to be building my unit, military units soon. So there's a way you can kind of tell what they feel about you. If you go to diplomacy, you can hover over them. So these guys are unafraid of me because I don't have much army, which is very justified. My units are not very good. I only have two units. And I have some sea power, but that's not counted in that um, equation for military strength. The army, the navy is a different story. So I need to get that hooked up a little bit, because if your army is weak, you don't have much leverage in any sort of diplomatic activities. So that's, that's a problem. Luckily, we are problem solvers. Give me one second here. Alright, I'm back. So the Alchemist Furnace now allows me to build the glass wool and the titanium extractors. And I have a couple of sources of, of these on, I think, both of my cities, yeah. I also have access to, of them on these platforms. So if I get them built, I will have a huge amount of uh, both strategic resources coming into me, which is quite useful. But now I'm losing money because I have way too many armies. I need to get some combined. So garrison you. I think that'll take him out. Yeah, so now uh, he is gone. I'm going to wait until he heals up. And then we can do other things. We call you so that I can join forth, join forth. Join force to force, the force to force, these together. And now, finally, what we're here to do is to take on you. And it's not easy. We have to wait for our militias to come. Let's see if we can do that. And we're going to be extremely defensive here. Our militia is going to come here. So I will put all of my units, including my settler, all the way in the back. can come here. You can go here. Because they will all act first. But they have this little pond of water they have to come through and they're very slow. So I might be able to get a couple turns in uh, before they get me. In the meantime, I'll have everybody buff the mastermind and hopefully he can do some damage. All right, let's go for it. Oh, hey, our militia's here already. We have a third militia? That would be nice. Okay, so we'll have our militia Move in these directions. And then you sit still. What can I do? Okay. Alright, we'll just have them buff each other. How's that? What is this? Are these settlers? No, that these are settlers. The settlers can just move backwards. Like over here. Snakes are coming, but that's okay. And they're going different directions, which is good. They buff the strength, they buff his strength. Wait, are they fighting each other? I don't know what happened. One second. Oh, okay, Fit minus 15 life, got it. That's why they were doing that. Bloodlust, of course. Duh, so stupid. So he is the only unit that's faster than everybody else, and now we have two units of militia here, which is good. I'm moving him back one so he doesn't get in the range. Next turn, he can now engage. And both of them have increased attack. 
So I'm hoping that they will be able to. He's going to come close enough such that we can do damage. So I will have these two units attack him. And then finally, I'll have these units buff them. And they can... Let's see. One, two. They won't be in range. So we'll have him both move up slightly. I think none of my units st are still going to be... Wait. Oh, you're faster. No. No, I don't... No. I don't want to do that. I didn't mean to do that. At least he did some damage. And he's targeting the Settler, which is a bad idea because he won't be able to reach him. Take my popsicles! Alright, so he is now dead because of my mighty military strategic mastermind thing. Well, unfortunately, we're not in a great position because the only unit that can really get him is here. Um, if I go after him now, that will cause all of my other units to be able to reach. So I don't really want to do that. Because I am a st strategic mastermind, I'm going to have him retreat just one square. This unit will come here, and then he is going to come here. Probably hit all my other units. But now, these other units are going to be in the position to kill him. To kill him dead. Everybody, kill! Okay, Settler, just don't... Settler, go over here. You're not involved in the killing. You're innocent! Later, suckers! going after my hero. And my hero punches him. I don't even need to use spells. Take that, snake. By the way, that will be my strategy for when I get to the new continent. I need to find a place to establish a city first and do it immediately and then fight every other fight using my militias because they are basically the only thing that's allowing me to get any work done here since they're free. So them taking damage doesn't really hurt. Well, that's, that's pointless. All right, everybody. Get him, everyone! Everybody's gonna take some damage, it's fine. It's only a matter of time now. Our homeland security operation will soon be complete. Isn't that right? Alright. That's the last we heard of the Vile Snakes. Whatever I remembered as the enemy of our people. See ya. Look at that. We did well. All, the militia took all the damage, just like I wanted. Don't worry, it's their job. They're professionals. Alright, it's gonna take one, two, three... Uh, it's gonna be like three or four turns before I can get over here. Turn 50 before third city. That's just awful. Just, just awful. Alright, so we'll send him out. And then these two can rendezvous in the middle of the ocean. Be the destiny to encounter here. And I'm gonna take over that territory. Hopefully take over that territory first. Retrofit him as well. Because he needs, both of them needs Formula Slayer. You have Formula Slayer. And you have Formula Slayer. Good. Things are looking up. I say that every single time. They're really not. I don't think I've upgraded my Arpujas either. I think I might want to do that. What are you doing? Get out of my harbor. This place, you don't belong here. Please, get out. Thank you, sir. 
You're very kind. Okay, we're, we're gonna check our Arpujas here. Yeah, they're not equipped with anything. I need to upgrade their equipments. Because otherwise they will be pretty useless. I don't actually, you know... I don't know if I actually want to do it yet, because I'm researching a couple of technologies with armor and weapons. So I might want to do it afterwards, because... I had two in production already, so if I retrofit them, I just need to spend some money. Okay, we won't do it now. Because we will definitely remember how to do it later. Definitely. You trust me, right? Instead, we'll build a glass steel. I think that's all we have here. That's right. Glass steel factory. These guys are... Man, they produce things so quickly. I think I'm gonna switch some into... Science and... Mostly science. And money first, because I don't need to produce things so quickly. I don't have any other things I want to be producing there. He, I need some production because of the third war, and then also a bunch of other things. So I will keep everybody here in production. Uh, that would be good. Okay, let's see. If I go here, then next turn they should be able to... Join forces and take down that fortress. And you... This is most likely the fastest way. Mark that, and then hope for the best. I don't think there's anything else for me to do here. Okay, is he healed? Yes. So I'm gonna have him scout out over here first, just to see where I want to be landing. I think in a couple turns, these guys are gonna come back, so I'm gonna garrison him. Garrison him. Garrison him. Garrison him again, so we don't lose his fortress. Five turns, why is it so slow? Not that I care. So we have one or Puja in here already. Alright, so we'll have two here. trying to do is just to not fall horribly behind. If I can manage that, then maybe I can manage some comeback. I don't feel safe. I'm gonna garrison him again. I need to wait until those two passes. That fortress is very important to me. I don't want to have to take it back. On the other hand, let's party with him first. Parlay. Excuse me. For three turns, have two different types of Formians naval unit in garrison in any fortress. Two different types of Formian. That so silver sounds pretty good, but I have no idea how I'm gonna get that. What if I attack you instead? All right, we'll just auto this. This is too one-sided. I failed the quest. I failed everybody. But I got a fortress. That's all that matters. I will send him over here and then get on the land because I don't want him to be fighting these guys. Not a very good matchup. What to do? Eh. Well, there are more fortresses here, so might as well take them all. And then, once this war is done, then hopefully we will uh, clean out all the pirate scums here and the yeah, armory away. What does this produce? Produces. Okay. Titanium. So I'm getting a huge amount of titanium. There's two of them here. I have one here, so I get two per turn plus three. Plus one, so it's three, and then I would have two sorts of glass wool coming in. So that's nice. 
And if I can hold on to these for longer, then other facilities will open up, which most likely will be some sort of a luxury resource. What else can I build? I should also think about getting a wine deposit done, which requires open pit mine. That might be a priority. Wine is a very good resource. Do I have only one or two? I have one here. And I have a die here. So that might not be a bad idea. Well, let's prioritize our weapons first. We'll get our weapons done, then we'll see, feel safe enough to to go after those artistic pursuits. That's how, like they said, you can't feel safe playing a piano if, uh, if you're worried about next guy coming to your house and robbing you of all of your scores. What are you going to do without the sheet music? Ah, what for the hero? Long away to level up for the hero. What can we do here? Not a whole lot, to be honest. You know, I'm gonna give him some attack because this way he will be a possible unit to fight on the ocean if I ever wanted to, to have that happen. Are you serious? They actually do some damage. That's incredible. Alright, so these guys are coming. But they're injured because most likely they've been playing in the ocean for too long. You know, we're smarter than that. Continue our merry ways. And as I say that, I walk basically into a thunderstorm. Don't think I can, even with their weakened status, I can take them on. So I'm gonna... Eh. 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 That's an awkward situation. But they're so weak though. And so am I. 91, okay. Let's go for it. You know, I don't want to auto this. I have a fear that I will lose my settler. And that would be a horrible, horrible thing. Actually, you know what? This is actually a terrible idea because they're gonna go after my settler right from the start. But we've chosen this destiny. There's nothing we can do now. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, this is what we do. We're gonna have our settler unit hide all the way in the back. And my hero will be up front. Hopefully he will be able to tank everything. Because he act after these boarding vessels. Okay, you're a mastermind. Okay, whatever. They're both ranged. So hopefully he... I said hopefully he will go after it, but they won't. They're gonna go after the settler, but we will try to retreat the settler as far as back as we can. Alright, here we go. Settler, retreat back there. You guys, retreat back there too. I mean, defenses are okay, but I don't want to lose them. And then I'll have my hero tank everything, because his defense is just adorable. Serve you right, attacking me? Who do you think you are? I'm so sorry, please forgive me. Yeah, take that, you little. Settler is. Wait, why is he attacking? Don't attack, Mr. Settler. You should be. You should be running away, like a good person. Oh, he can't actually get there, which is why he's attacking. Well, you do, wah. Well, your bravery should be commit commended. Commended? You're dead. <sighs> that was very harrowing. Much more than a shooty should have been. But that's okay. We wiped out all of the menace in this region. And now we can proceed forward with our duties. 
Oh. And I'm gonna have him join this group. With some protection, of course. But I think that should be all of the roaming units in this region, so I don't really have to protect these guys anymore. Um, I do need to get this guy, these guys over here, and then once he finishes, they will have a nice group up there. Maybe, you know, just maybe I can keep my hero on the sea for the foreseeable future. That would be kind of nice. Whatever. What do I want to do here? Dust filtration is good, but I only have one ocean unit, which makes that basically pointless. I think I'm going to build another burrow. Issue is where? Direction do I want to expand toward? Having more sea tiles would be nice, like building one here. Um, can't reach that, so that's really not a point. Don't want to go here because that's just a little lake, so having anything over there is also kind of pointless. So let's take this little tile here. Eight turns, and then I'm going to move more people out of production. Because right now production doesn't mean, do me any good. So having them in science so I can get my uh, ultimate weapons done faster is much, much more preferable. Don't mind me just taking a moment to uh, to survey my vast empires. Look at this. I control none of these regions. It's fantastic. It's going to change soon. Just you wait. Oh, that's that's very far away. How can it be over here? Whatever. For a moment, I was considering having this city produce wars as well, so that I can really beef things up. But I think I'm gonna invest in the future a little bit. Yeah, I... I put them in dangerous way. Wait, not, not them. You? Wait, they got hit. Oh, I parked in the lightning. Okay, that sucks. Alright, you, you guys can garrison a little bit. At least the settlers are still alive. You can't garrison. Well, we'll have to wait until they heal up a little bit anyway. Give them one more turn. They're out of movements anyway. That is quite stupid. Can I... Move through here? Yes. What do you want? Transport? That's that's not happening. We both know it. All right, auto this because I want to decide to fight. I don't want to fight every single one of them. And now I have this facility, and I'm going to garrison because they need to be healed. It's actually a good idea to garrison after every encounter so that I can save myself one turn of money, since they can't go anywhere anyway. But these, they don't have any facilities. Why do I care about taking over this place? The Bastion. Oh, I get one gold and one science from them. Okay, I'll take that. So this is sort of like a defense? No, it's like a watchtower type of thing. You can see some things. And units that are sitting here um, get more experience, which may or may not be good. What is this? Whatever. Hey look, Settler leveled up. Now they can build bigger, bigger cities. I wish how that, that's how it worked, but... Unfortunately... Unfortunately, that's not. Are they still complaining that we're weak? Pitying. Okay, so he doesn't think we're super weak anymore. But we are, we know we're weak. Look at our score. It's 
not gonna last forever. We're gonna turn this thing around, damn it. I'm gonna make sure of it next turn. So, the armors are done. This means... I... am now able to... re-equip my units. Alright. So, they need both, which is really annoying. Because I have access to one of them, a lot of access to one of them, but not the other one. We have to wait until we get the access to the second one as well. What about the Arpuja? See, for Arpujas, you can pick. That's more of my thing. 24, 5, 18 damage. This is a two-handed thing. So, 28... I think I'll go with this two-handed thing. More damage is what I need, because I have a lot of support units. So the front guys have to be able to, to take the damage, and they're pretty good about it. The issue with these units are uh, a lack of hit points, which I think we need to address. Improved movement. That's not actually too bad. Let's put that on him. And we're going to wait for the second technology finish before we put armors and stuff on, on him. And that will be all for now. So then once that's done, we can do a little bit of upgrading. And I think I might do it now. Yes? How much does that cost? Eighty-two. Okay, I can't afford it right now. That's fine. And the hero can also be upgraded. That's very pitiful too. Twenty-four, twenty-three. I think this is probably more useful. The difference with heroes is that you can equip them directly. You don't have to wait. In this screen, you just do it. I'll wait for that, and... Wait, I do have to. No! I have to be in flanking territory, so it's still to do it. Okay, that's fine. We'll be settling this city pretty soon too, so that's not a problem. And we're going to move all of our units out of here. Going with the hero, and then... Go on our merry ways. And go garden, that's pretty good. Are you healed yet? We'll give one more turn. Because he'll be done at that point. What's queued after you? Nothing. Oh, the library. After library, we'll, uh, we'll, let's let's build the glass wool first, the glass steel first, and then we'll do the titanium. I think that should be pretty good. After that, we'll switch people in this city as well to having from production to everything else. That will we'll give a get a stronger economy going because I really do need to catch up. The city will be the first step, and hopefully there will be more territories over here and we'll expand over here this direction so that even if we get in trouble over here we can still manage something to salvage you're declaring war on me hmm now that is troublesome hello my Rapuja friend we have uh, we have business switch everybody over here. I don't know which direction they're going to go attack, but my feeling is that they will probably come over here and attack this city. And if that's the case, we better defend ourselves, damn it. Okay. And if that's the case, what I might also do is get my hero unit back over here. Instead of being over here, of course. We'll decide that next time. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.